He has risen. Good morning. Happy Sunday, but more importantly, happy Easter. Figure uh, today was a rather appropriate uh, day to dress like this. And we got uh, a shirt that definitely screams at Easter pastel colors. And I am going to go into uh, Easter Sunday Mass very soon. So I figured, you know what? I'll dress in khakis today. And uh, considering that this is the last day of March, this means it's also the last day I have to I get to wear this green tie, which really does sadden me. I'm not gonna lie. But for better or for worse, the month of March actually was a very good month. In fact, you know what? I can genuinely say that it's now been the best eight months of my life. I mean, the month of March is literally ending on Easter. It would take a, it would take, well, I'd say a miracle, but what well, I'm about to imply is a bad thing. It, something truly horrible needs to happen for like everything to be ruined. And I don't think that's going to happen. Hold on. Had to, had to knock on wood to make sure nothing happens. So, actually, you know, let me, first of all, let me adjust the camera a little bit. There we go. And, uh, might as well get comfortable. There we go. Don't forget the ottoman. Perfect. Okay. So, yeah. It's Easter. And it's the last day of March. The last day of what I just said has now been the best eight months of my life. I mean, it just shocks me that it's been that long since you know, like, well, what happened at the very end of July last year. But I've just been on a roll. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not like after what happened at the end of July last year happened and then everything was immediately good. No, of course not. There were some things I, you know, I had to put in some work for. You know, I had to go out and, you know, do stuff, see people, surround myself with people who lift me up rather than bring me down. You guys know who you are. And it's led to nothing but, you know, wonderful memories that I'm gonna remember forever. And considering that today is Easter, quite literally one of my favorite holidays, pretty much every major holiday is my favorite holiday, who am I kidding? But I, this is one of my favorite days of the year, how about that? Not just holidays, just days of the year in general, even though technically the jury is out on when exactly you have Easter. I mean, quite literally the one flaw about today, and that, and this, and this is a nitpick, I've never been a fan of when Easter's in the month of March. I've really always been more akin to when Easter's in April, because with Easter being in April, you're that much close, or that much closer to you know, summertime, you know, opening our college at Puka Lake. If I was still in school, this would be the time when, you know, the countdown to when the school year is over should be, you know, moving, line, move, moving right along. So before I get into um, what's been happening, what happened this month, I do need, I do have a little high act of kindness and Full disclosure, my grandmother is not doing very well. In fact, uh, it's looking pretty, pretty bad. I mean, it doesn't entirely surprise me. I mean, she's 89 years old and getting sick a couple weeks ago really took a lot out of her. And it is looking, again, it's looking serious. In fact, it's one of the reasons why I'm going to be going to church literally at 8.30 this morning. You know, to do some extra praying and stuff. 
Plus, honestly, it's been a really long time since I've been to an Easter Sunday morning mass. And I'm not going to lie, I kind of want to see some chaos ensue, considering that a lot of people, like, pretty much the people who only go on, like, Christmas and Easter are going to be there. And I'm not going to lie, I'm kind of curious to see the madness. I really am. Sometimes my humor is good for twisted people. But in all seriousness, you know, it's, it's been pretty bad for my grandmother lately. I mean, some days have been better than others. And honestly, right now, I, all we can do is hope. But we'll have to, we'll have to see about that. Um, my high is, in spite of how long Easter Vigil Mass was last night, you know, I did have a nice time going. I did. It's just, Easter Vigil Mass was two hours and 15, two hours and 14 minutes. Two hours and 14 minutes. That's what it was, two hours and 14 minutes. I was, and keep, and keep in mind, I had not eaten anything since like 10.30 yesterday morning. It was like, 9.30 when I ate anything. So, literally 11 hours. I mean, yeah, it's easy to do if it's like from, you know, night till morning because you're asleep for the majority of that time. I mean, I did take a bit of a nap yesterday, so... It's not like I was entirely awake for the entire time. But the point is, like, 11 hours day, day to night much different than night to day. So, yeah. But I did have a nice time. I went to Nick's last night for dinner, just like I did last, you know, Holy Saturday after Easter Vigil Mass. You know, um, got myself um, a combo platter and wings. Seriously, like, I know I'm, yesterday I said I'm just about ready to have meat on Fridays again. And for sure at some point, I'm definitely getting wings on a Friday, but I'm glad I had Nick's wings last night. They were really good, and they're exactly what I needed. Partly because I didn't think I'd be able to make it all the way from St. Mary Mother to the Elbow Room before the Elbow Room stopped serving food. Because, you know, Nick's is barely a five minute drive from St. Mary Mother. Elbow Room is, you know, 15, almost 20 minutes. Okay, not that long. It's more like 10, 15. But, again, time is a factor. So, there you go. And I, then I went to Pix last night to see a friend who was uh, working there. Who I may or may not see later today. Um, so, yeah. It was... It was... It was an, it was an accept... It was, it, you know, it was the kind of day that you would normally have on a relatively uneventful Saturday. I say relatively uneventful because again, I still wanted to go out. I still went to, still went to church. I, I did all that stuff. But considering like yesterday was meant to be uneventful in order to prepare for today, it was a good day. It was. And honestly, I couldn't think of a better last Saturday of the last Saturday of the month. You know, it's, nothing much happened. That's okay. There, there's power in simplicity, folks. So, that leads us to today. Now, since, I want to say since August of last year, but I know for a fact I didn't title the video that way. I've pretty much been looking back on each and every month, at the end of every month, and thinking, you know, what happened? Because, remember, I literally just said, it's been the best eight months of my life. And... It's still true, but I get, but it's usually on the last day of the month. I take the time to think, wow, like what, what happened that was so great? Well, um, we started getting warmer weather on a slightly more consistent basis, which, you know, since the first day of spring was March 19th, I believe, you know, makes sense that we're getting, you know, pretty warmer weather. Um... My, I mean, unfortunately, everyone started getting sick, obviously including my grandmother on my grandfather's birthday, so we couldn't really celebrate it, but 
you know, I did see my grandfather at some point, you know, wish him a happy birthday. I mean, he celebrated turning 90, which is great. Definitely no, no problem with that. Um, I could talk about how I probably used up all the luck I will ever have in the world about a week before St. Patrick's Day when I won that uh, free ticket to go to that whiskey tasting. I mean, listen, it's the month of March. Like, let's be real here. Eat, like, all of March is legit revolved around St. Patrick's Day and all the themes behind it, including luck. So, I think it's okay for me to talk about luck in this scenario. And I had a great time. You know, I did learn a lot about the whiskey making process. I did learn what pairs well with what. And shout out to the good folks over at the Illegal Tap House. You know, you guys definitely know how to throw a party. I mean, I've seen other parties there before, so it's no surprise. But, you know, it bears repeating. You know, to the, to the men and women at the Ill Illegal Tap House who prepared... Not just like um, um, the uh, the whiskey tasting, but all of the parties I've been to, like your hard work does not go unnoticed, and it is greatly appreciated. So thank you. And then there was St. Patrick's Day itself. You know, again, one of my favorite days of the year. I get to wear green, get to go out, see all. I mean, listen. Obviously, I'm. Shoot, did I even have a drink on St. Patrick's Day? I forget. Well, the fact that I forgot means that clearly I probably didn't. I mean, shoot, did I? I can't remember. Well, regardless, I still had a great time. and It is fun. Seriously, like, even if you don't drink on St. Patrick's Day... It's still, it's still a lot of fun to go out and see people dressed in green, you know, shamrocks and everything, going out, shenanigans ensuing, and it's fun. It, honestly, like, again, even if you don't, I mean, let's be honest, St. Patrick's Day is the one day of the year that everyone claims to be Irish, so... Regardless of whether you're Irish or not, going out and having fun is still going out and having fun. I'm saying, uh, uh, going out, going out and having fun on St. Patrick's Day is still going out and having fun on St. Patrick's Day. That's what I meant to say. Okay. So, yeah. And, I, there's something else that happened, but for the life man, I can't, oh, right. I went to the first live after five at the first arena. I got to see Claudia Hoiser again. And I got to redeem myself by uh, doing uh, the dance for one of her songs, uh, Calling Out. You can actually look up the line dance on YouTube. And that's how I learned how to do it. So going back to, uh, so seeing Claudia Hoiser again, that was awesome. You know, I'm definitely glad I did that. And there's today. I mean, the, the month of March is literally ending on one of my favorite days of the year. You know, Easter. Again, let's be real here. The jury's kind of out on when you could exactly say Easter is. But it's today, so we're going to call it today. I mean, admittedly, yeah, I am still a little bit bothered that Easter isn't in April. But considering it's March 31st, I can let that slide. For today. I mean, listen. Not to get all religious on you guys, but... At, but, you know, Jesus suffered a lot. To have what we have now. Sort of. You know... I'm pretty sure... Me complaining about... You know, today being Easter in the month of March... I mean, that is the tiniest of potatoes, okay? If that. So, I think I'll survive. Um, but 
yeah, I'm set to have a really good day today. I'm going to be going to church. I'm going to be seeing my other family. You guys know who you are. I'll see my actual family later today. And, you know, quite frankly, I really can't think of any thing negative or bad to say about what's about to happen. You know, it's, it's going to be a good day. And honestly, you know, there, I seriously, there could not be a more appropriate way to end this month than having one of my favorite days of the year be the last day of the month. I mean, seriously, St. Patrick's Day and Easter in the same month? For all the complaining I just did, you know, that's two of my favorite days of the year in the same month. Normally you don't get that lucky. I mean, what it really means is that there's nothing going to be going on in April. Actually, that's not true. There are some things going on in April. I mean, at the moment, the only thing that comes to mind, the only things that come to mind are my brother's birthday. You know, his birthday is April 13th. We were celebrating his birthday then. Um, there's going to be another uh, Scat and Scatty later this month. Um, I know Claudia Hoyes was going to be playing in Peng Yan at the end of February, uh, February, at the end of April. And a part of me does want to go, but I mean, as much as I want to go back to Cuco Lake and obviously by extension, you know, places like Peng Yan and Hammondsport, it's still a little bit too soon. Not to mention, the weekend that Claudia Hoyes was going to be in Peng Yan is also the weekend that the Switzerland Inn is officially going to be reopening again for the year and we're having the polar bear plunge. And I did the very last polar bear plunge they had before the pandemic started. And ever since they brought it back, every Saturday, every year they've had the polar bear plunge is a day I have to help and spend the day with my dad. So I couldn't go. Been, it's been kind of a bummer, but again, I've been through worse. Many people have been through worse. So again, I'm pretty sure I'll survive. So I guess all that's left to say is if you are Christian or Catholic, you know, I hope you have a happy Easter. You know, I, I, I'm certainly going to try to have a happy Easter. If you don't celebrate Easter at all, for whether it's for religious beliefs or whatever, you know, obviously I hope you have a nice day. I mean, today's Sunday. You know, good things can happen on Sunday. Pretty sure college basketball, I mean, the college, the college basketball playoffs are going on. Um, I'm sure there's other sporting events going on today. So there's that. Um, and just because you don't celebrate Easter, you know, you probably celebrate dinner with your family. You can do that. So, you know, my point is I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope everyone has, I mean, listen, me hoping everyone has a wonderful day, you would think is old hat by this point, but, you know, sometimes you're not that lucky. Sometimes you wind up having a bad day. And yeah, I've had bad days, sure. But I've gotten to the point in my life where, yeah, something bad happens. I'm not going to let, very rarely am I ever going to let something ruin my day. I mean, I could talk about what happened last month, but I'd rather not. So I'll just say, you know, and you know, sometimes bad things happening is, does it, I mean, one of my favorite comedians, Pat Oswald, once said, you know, everything's chaos, be kind. And that is absolutely true. You should be kind. But I'm definitely more prone to believing that for whatever reason, bad things happen. For a reason. And it may not be apparent initially, but give it time. And who knows? Maybe something good will happen later. 
five. That's just me. All I know is I am extremely humbled. I made this video for all of you guys watching. Enjoy for your day. I am hopeful that we have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday. And if you celebrate Easter, have a happy Easter. And remember, if any of you guys want to talk or chat, I'm always going to be here to London. You know, always here back. Take care. And of course, make good choices. 607 all day, baby.